Hi, everybody. So, now that the tail cone and the fuselage are mated together, which is sweet. Remember how I mentioned we were starting to put the two together and they were clecoed up, and if I was lifting the very back of the tail cone, I could kind of see the metal, uh, the pieces flexing right in between because they weren't really attached. Well, they're attached now. If I lift the tail cone up, the whole thing moves, and it is solid as a rock, so... Uh, in this video, we're going to start working on a rotisserie for the fuselage. Everybody thinking, what? Or what? A rotisserie. Uh, basically, well, hold on. Before we get into that, let's <laughs> check this out. Two things. How awesome is this? And how fat am I? I mean, I know a camera adds pounds and, you know, a wide angle, considering it's like a foot from my... Still, how awesome is it? So spacious. Look at the size. I mean, I had so much room, right? So I, I, I put the uh, cargo bay skins down. I put a couple of flat pieces where um, a skin is missing. We don't get that one until the uh, final uh, final kit. And then I just had a big spare, like, uh, booster seat. Uh, fluffy uh, foam booster seat that we use for kids when they fly in our planes. Uh, I thought, you know what, let's just get in. And I'm trying it out. And it's awesome. It really is. So you can see, yeah, you can see there the skins. You can see the little particle board I used. Uh, and there I am trying to get out. So yeah, spacious. It's the only word that I can use. Uh, so back to the rotisserie, right? Now, all the remaining chapters of the fuselage basically deal with systems. We're, I mean, with the exception of the panel area, we're pretty much done with 99% of all of the sheet metal work. Uh, well... The real sad part is that we're actually probably 89% done with all the sheet metal work for the whole plane. Right? It's the death of fun. Now it's nothing but internal systems, wiring, grunting, and moaning as I have to crawl around on the inside. So, to prevent the crawling, or at least before this thing gets put on uh, landing gear, um, we need a rotisserie. Now what is that what does that mean exactly? So you can see me putting together that's a little uh, engine mount uh, that I got from Harbor Freight, right? It holds seven hundred and fifty pounds. I mean hell that'll hold that'll hold the, you know the, this plane's engine. But the idea is that that flat plate rotates three hundred and sixty degrees. You mount that to the front of your plane, you mount another one to the tail cone. And now, all of a sudden, you've got a fuselage that rotates all the way around. So, you want to work on some fuel system stuff? You don't have to crawl in. You can just rotate the fuselage 90 degrees sideways, uh, claw, you know, and just start working on stuff directly in front of you. It's going to be sweet. Uh, a couple caveats, though. And you'll see me trying to figure this out uh, in the third video, which is hopefully when we finish it is so you see the the red barrel there that holds the plate in place so problem is is that it's actually rotated up about nine degrees right so it's not straight it actually tilts up a little bit I, i'm not 100 percent sure why but that's just the way it's done uh the problem is if i mount that flat on the front of the fuselage it's going to want to hold the fuselage up at a nine degree angle well i kind of want it to hold it straight Right, so not 100% sure how we're going to fix that. Uh, if I remove the front wheel from the engine mount, that works because then it just tilts it down. The problem is now I've got to scrape that thing along the ground whenever I want to move the fuselage. So that's, well, I mean, technically that could work. I don't actually have to have it scraping along the ground. If I could connect the two together somehow with like a long piece of three-quarter inch... <clears throat> you know, like black plumbing bar or something. That would be that would be cool. Then it would all just be one piece, right? Be much easier to sell as well. Um, anyway, that's for a later time. So what we want to do is now we want to make something that mounts to the very front of the fuselage, right? Well, what do we've got in the front? We got four engine mount bolts. So what I've done is I've cut some small pieces of two by four. I put them up against the uh, firewall, and I outlined the outline of the firewall, cut them on a bandsaw, 
Then I took a 3 8 inch bolt, you know, wrote all over the front of it with a sharpie, put it in from behind with that piece of wood in place, rotated it to make an impression in the wood, and that's where I knew how to drill. So, And then voila, we've got four pieces. So, In the next video, uh, we're going to continue making this and figuring out how to make it work. So thanks for joining me. See you soon.